I made some non-final software of my own. It plays audiobooks. But before that, let's talk about retro gaming on Linux. Emulation has been something Linux has been very good at for a long time. On the desktop side of Linux, we can emulate Wii, GameCube, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1, Sega, Dreamcast, N64, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy... The lowest hanging fruit here was obviously Retro Arch, as it comes with a crap ton of different emulation engines, called Cores. After installing Retro Arch and loading it up, it's beautiful. It's very reminiscent of a PlayStation 3 background, and the animations are smooth. I can't really capture that super well. I installed a couple emulation cores, but I couldn't get any of them working, including NES and N64. Although getting N64 on this would be badass, I wasn't able to get that working. But hell, this is based on Debian. There's bound to be something in the repository. I was able to get one of the NES emulators to work called Magnafin, I think. It doesn't quite load right in Fosh, but in Plasma, it loads fine. Looks like Plasma got hit with a wrench. Moving on. Yes, that sound, that beautiful sound, is coming from the dev kit. Everybody dance. Frick, frick, frickin' frick. I don't know how to bring up the keyboard. And back to X Do Tool. ASWD seems to let me move around, but I don't know what the jump key is to enter levels or jump about. Oh, I. Let's script this. So, it's gotta be one of the keys in the alphabet, and go. Okay, so it's gotta be one of the keys in the alphabet, minus a few, go. Okay, it's gotta be one of the special keys on the keyboard, and go. They don't get points for intuitive key layout, but, uh, it does work quite well. The bad news is... I wasn't really able to fix this during our hack session where I have access to a fully working dev kit, so I had to use my personal dev kit, which unfortunately has a broken screen. So X forwarding is the only way to display the video game, and it seems like 3D acceleration is broken when you X forward, or maybe there's just a big performance hit. In any case, you can see it's way more laggy than it was on the dev kit screen itself, so bear in mind that there is a pretty big performance hit X forwarding. But using X forwarding, I was able to set up the key combinations properly and play Super Mario Bros. 3. Pretty cool. I can sort of play this. I did test a few other games over X forwarding. As you can see here, Hedge Wars does load up and you can get into the game, but uh, it's not particularly playable. And it's a similar story for T Worlds. I also tried Liquid War, which, while it doesn't perform quickly, does technically work flawlessly. I also wanted to say thank you to Gardner the Linux Gamer. My subscriber count was growing at a steady rate, and then it wasn't. Thanks to Gardner, who decided to put a link to one of my videos in one of his. So, here's his channel running on the dev kit over X forwarding. Thanks again, Gardner. I listen to audiobooks constantly. So I went to the Libra 5 docs, took a peek about, and it was obvious that GTK was the way to go. And I already know Python, so I went with Python GTK as the stack. Loading GTK was not so bad. I found a really useful tutorial series by the new Boston, link below. It walks you through the basics of everything you need to know to program Python GTK apps. After learning a bit of GTK and successfully making a clickable interface, it looks like this on the dev kit. Big thanks to David, who helped me fix and clean up the interface. It does look quite nice now. Here's where it stands at the moment. I haven't created a .desktop file, so command line is the only way to launch it at the moment. Selecting an audiobook looks a lot better on the desktop. I'm thinking I might replace this entire file selection dialog with a in-window file selection thingy. I don't have audio set up with X forwarding, so I'll have to wait for the next hack session to have a fully working dev kit to test audio output. But here's the same app running on my desktop. Tups you saw on young people. He supposed owl after, but thought better of it. It was a few seconds of wide smile. 
who has gone at last, he said, in a man was wearing a one just outside. Fear flood. Chapter 2, The Vanishing Glo Chapter 3, The Letters. Pretty cool, right? As always, thank you to my patrons.